There are very, very few dancehall artists that has ever managed to grab the spotlight by themselves when coming up in the music industry. According to tradition, debuting as a dancehall artist over the years has always been done by getting put on by whoever is the most dominant force in the music. We look at dancehall and we can backtrack when it wasn't as it seems, making a connection from Bone to Killer putting on Vibes Cartel and several others to Vibes Cartel putting on Popcorn and several others. Other artists have tried to put themselves on and have failed numerous times. How then did Alkaline in an era where this was still a massive thing manage to pull that off and self-create his entrance in dancehall? I have the answer right here for everyone. Just stick up in. You're watching Alkaline's marketing strategies brought to you by Lee Miller RTV. Viewers and subscribers, welcome to another video from Lee Miller RTV. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can be the first to be notified of new contents. Don't forget to like, share, and also comment your thoughts below. With that being said, let's get to business. So as most persons might know, Alkaline has been doing music professionally for a long time now. Many would know Alkaline more from 2013 with his hit song 123. However, clarified by his manager herself, Karina Beckford, Alkaline officially got a bus in dancer with his song Things Me Love. Now we have heard Alkaline share his experience in the past of how testing it was coming up in the music business and how it was very difficult to even get rhythms to voice on. Again, this all made sense when you were in an era where artists, producers and selectors were doing what we call gatekeeping. This is a term used to describe the actions of musical representatives such as artists, producers, selectors, etc. that shows preference as it relates to how upcoming talents get highlighted in the music. This was no different for Alkaline. And I like say oh, him walking and people just start throw the red carpet for him and say oh, yeah man, go on through the gate you would. Alkaline however was smart as young as he was and understood that for really sneaking through the gate and for find a way of bypass the security them at the gate then that's where the padlock after so he can't lock up on him or nobody else. Alkaline decided to do something that no one in dance hall had ever done before and that was to create a strategic entrance. We approach the Black Eye Saga. In 2013, Alkaline made a shocking announcement that his eyes had been tattooed to give himself a different look from everyone else that was his competitors. As one could imagine, this caused quite the case in the dancehall community. Every radio show, every talk show, on stage, ear, you name it, wanted to get an interview with Alkaline to find out what exactly he did and to have some details on what one would imagine as a very traumatic procedure. We look at one of the first interviews done with Alkaline and Entertainment Report. Let's look back at how this mastermind was sitting here and strategizing his takeover. Well, I ride bike, I ride bike at times, but I mean, can do a few tricks and, and I know a little stunt. But I really master the art of stunting it. So, yeah, I really tattooed my eyes. It's just a new look for dancer, a fresh look. So It didn't hurt? Yeah, it hurt, but pain is temporary. But why do it? Um, me and you both know, you know Mr. Miller, that you have like 10 million artists in Jamaica. Everybody claim to be them at the bad. Everybody claim to say them at the body. So um I think if you just distinguish myself from every other entertainer, why not just tap my eyes? But can't you rely on your talent to do that? Yes, but um everybody has their own stepping stone to success and I guess this just happened to be mine. But why put your sight at risk? Well um take it this way. In the event that um at any given time that I see that this will pose a, a threat to my vision, I just simply reverse it. How do you reverse it? <laughs> this is the 21st century, so anything is possible. I so, am sure. This viewers and subscribers was the beginning of the takeover. This interview was a signal to a million other artists out there say, oh, dance on a CA from Alkaline, the savior and the main danger. Now, one year later, 2014, and Alkaline is back on another interview with Unstage this time. I don't know Winfred kind of curb from a taller time, so in the well one Alkaline fought for the interview, so could I get the scoop? Let's listen to what Alkaline said here. Yeah, it's, it's and be, just, is yourself? Yeah, that is just me. Yes? Yeah, man. So, oh, so you're. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of self expression. Everything that I do. Everything that I do. Some question it though, um, Alka. Yeah. The, 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 whether it's genuine or you're just wearing a, a contract. Yeah, they can question it. People question everything that I do, but I mean, it's just whatever. Yes? No matter but, what I do. <laughs> yo. It a goal, you know, yo, what say, it's just whatever. And from a long time, it a guy use a slang, you know. I hope some of us has gone down back memory lane by now and recall how crazy these years were. 
You see me? And the buzz that this was causing of how Alkaline had his eyes tattooed. Now, a lot of people would question Alkaline's marketing strategy and say, oh, but he never have to do this or he never have to do that. Let's hear why Alkaline did it and let's hear it from a different perspective. You tattooed your eyes. Yeah. You see, if you, as a, as a new artist, part from the scene, I know it's hard for you to get no recognition. I know, I tell you the honest truth. Then I have nothing to really strike them attention. They need an image to, to make them go somewhere and say, all right, I'll make you what you say. So when me forward now, with that image, everybody has to say, what is this kid? You cannot, like, overlook me. So I say, I look past me. You have to pay me attention. So that me strike for me. So when you look back again, one can really see how it makes sense. If I write off a kiss ass and get style and them thing there, or steal as some other man there, then go and go try the traditional way. But Alkali never dip on that. From me see the dog all be up to you know say how the dog rink and face it. Another moment to point out was his skin bleaching. As if that wasn't controversial enough as it is in schools. Alkali started bleaching from about mid 2014 to the dog white like Michael. Again, that caused another wave of chaos on social media but for Alkaline, no publicity is bad publicity. And as long as the people are talk about you, that's a win. Walk with me there and watch your style now. Just so we're getting used to the fact that Alkaline eyes are now tattooed, he might bleach, he might have good music all day, the dog decided to turn the place upside down again. On December 20th, 2015, Alkaline posted a picture on IG without his eyes being tattooed. His complexion back to normal again and the whole place start catch fits. Some were enraged at the fact that Alkaline really managed to deceive them so long as people really and truly accepted that this was real. Some on the other hand was really relieved that you know the artist was fine health wise and that nothing will affect him in the long run. Others just simply felt silly for believing but hey it worked. All eyes were on him once more pun intended. So now we get to the meat of the matter which is 2016. Three months after, Dancehall is just getting back up on its feet and here comes Alkaline once more again with what happened to be one of the best albums in Dancehall's history, New Level Unlocked. Once more, that was another year for Alkaline, another gear for Alkaline and this project separated him from his peers and competitors making him really solidified in Dancehall as the man himself. To date, Alkaline had remained the most talked about artist in Dancehall whether he's present or not, there's always a topic surrounding him and he hasn't changed. He's just now way more low-key and off the radar. But it is undeniable that this series of events set the stage for Alkaline to have succeeded the way that he did without relying on the help of any gatekeepers to propel his career or send him to the world. So viewers and subscribers, what do you think of Alkaline's genius marketing strategy? If you have made it this far into the video and liked anything I had to say, please hit the subscribe button Hit the notification bell so you can be the first to be notified of new content. Don't forget to like, share and also comment your thoughts below. As always, the pleasure was mine. I'm out.